Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to view and download your responses for your Google Form. So I have this demo Google Form here about a kitchen remodel, various questions, has a date question, a long answer, multiple choice, and a multiple selection choice. A linear scale question, one through five, a photo upload, and a couple other questions. So once you uh, have people fill out your form, you just go back to that form and you go to your responses. You can see here this has four responses. And there's three sections here. There's a summary question and individual. So the summary section will show all your responses in one place. So here's the four responses. The date, uh, why did you contact us for service? Three people answered, one person didn't. Here's the percentage of uh, how did you hear about us and it shows you what percentage for each one. Then you have a bar chart here for how satisfied were you with each part of your service. That was the one that had the uh, check boxes. And then we have the photo uploads. And if you wanted to see your uh, uploaded picture, it doesn't have to be a photo by the way, it could be any kind of file. But I chose a photo upload for the kitchen remodel. And so on. All right, so that's the... Uh, Summary, then you can view it by question. So here's question one, here's the answers. Here's question two, the answers. See the blank response for that one. And so on. And then you have the individual answers. So here's person 104, all their answers. Then you can go person 204, like that. So what if you want to download these so you don't have to come here and scroll through all the answers? A couple ways you could do it. Uh, one way you could do is you could have it linked to a Google Sheet. So you notice this says Link to Sheets. And if you click on it, it's going to create a new spreadsheet called Kitchen Remodel Survey. It'll base it off the name of your form. Or you could have it go into an existing spreadsheet. So we're going to create a new spreadsheet. Click on Create. So here's our spreadsheet with all the questions and answers. It even has links to the photo upload, like so. And you notice here it says view in Sheets now because it automatically changed the status now that we've connected to Google Sheets. So that's one way to do it. And then if more people fill out your form, it'll add to that spreadsheet. So another way, you could unlink the form by the way or select a destination for the responses if you want to choose a different spreadsheet. So you could also choose get email notifications for new responses. So that way every time somebody fills it out, you'll be able to come here and check the responses. That's not a way to really download it. It's just an indicator that somebody's filled out your form. And then you also have the download responses option to download it as a CSV file. So let's put it on the desktop here. Okay, let's go to that file here. Let's extract it. So here's my CSV file, so if you have Excel, you could open it with that, or you could open it with Sheets. So the same type of thing we saw with Google Sheets here. And then the links for the file uploads, like so. Okay, and then of course you could print all your responses as well, so if you want to print to maybe a PDF, we'll see how that looks. So this kind of gives you the same look as if you're looking at it online. And just keep in mind, this is not going to update if you uh, have more people answer your form. And you'll see each part's broken in down into a section, so it's not going to make a, a specific page. So you're going to have to just find the header each time for the next group of questions. Like that. All right, so once again, you could have it tied to a Google Sheets file for a spreadsheet, then it'll update it as needed. You could download to a CSV. You could print it, which is not super handy. And then if you want to turn on the email notifications, you could do that as well. And then if you want to unlink, you could do that. And then you can link it to a different spreadsheet if you want.
And if you're interested in learning more about Google Forms and how to use it, we have an online training course available. So I will put a link in the description for this course, and then you could go sign up and check it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.